microchip implanted beneath the skin gives people the same capabilities as dozens of cards and devices. And it's not as painful as you might think. What was once confined to science fiction movies... It's maybe a little uncomfortable. Oh. Just implanted a radium diode. They have the access codes to your drop spot. ...is now reality for some. I can pay, open doors and have my business card in there as well. These Aussies say they're being microchipped to simplify their lives. Which will connect to my work pass, um, which will allow me access to my office to use the printer, to use the scanner. We won't need any ID cards, we won't need any PIN codes, access cards or anything, so we can live a much sort of freer life. The microchip is the size of a grain of rice and the procedure takes just 15 minutes. First, the area is sterilised, then the location marked. The chip is then placed inside a hollow needle and inserted underneath the skin. Data from your bank card, payment method, building swipe, LinkedIn profile or medical history is cloned onto the chip which is implanted in the hand. Using the same technology as tap and pay cards, the chip can then be used to open security doors, pay for a coffee, use public transport and access information you've programmed onto the chip. This Perth body modification artists already embrace the trend. I have a business card on one, one I have just for funny images to load up on people's phones randomly. Um, and one of them I use for being able to operate and open a door lock. 32-year-old we'll Joel Tron has even built a motorbike which can be immobilised just by the touch of his hand. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem and Kokodash. The bond to the positive, the elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. They have the 100% truth. And Shalom to the hopefully less scattered across the four ends of the earth that's pushing this word in sincerity and truth. As you can see from the video, Australia already, they already uh, microchipping people. They already microchipping people, man. We're getting close to the east side, uh, one the earth here in this new world order. And I was at the gas station probably like a, a week ago, and I was just looking. Just looking around and stuff, man. They we closer to a castle society, man. They had you. All you gotta do is put your phone, man, and, and scan the Apple Pay, and scan the um, the Google Pay, the little um the scan codes. The, I think the QR codes, and you can pay for you can pay right there. Like you don't you have to take no money. You don't have to bring no card out. You just take a picture, man, and use your Apple Pay. I went, maybe like a month or two ago, and I, I went to uh, to get some beer. But I'm a guy, no. But I'm gonna get the beer. He ain't uh, going to get some liquor, and he paid with Apple Pay. Like he, we at the liquor store, man, paying pay with Apple Pay. We go to um, Walmart, go to um, even like places like Food Town. I mean, you can you can pay with Apple Pay. I mean, you can pay with Google Pay. You only gotta bring nothing. Out. You only gotta have a debit card, a shoulder debit card. I mean, you can just take a picture, man, and scan. So we're coming into um, Esau New World Order, man. Esau microchipping. He already microchipping people in Australia. As you can see from the video, man, them people bugged out, man. Especially one the, uh, the dude with the damn big ass holes in his ears and shit like that, man. Like a fucking a creature or something, man. It's, it's, it's Esau, man. It's, it's, it's Caucasian people, man. So called white people for you right there. And I'm, I'm going to start out with Job 20 and 22. And I'm, Lord, what do you edify? I'm going to get a couple of scriptures. No, I'm going to get too much on it, man. Real quick lesson. I got off kind of early tonight. Usually I'm getting off 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 in the morning, real tired. I kind of got off early. I was like, man, you know, it's the best chance for me to get a video in. So, you know, here I am. This is Job 20 and 22. In the fulfillment, Salak, Salak, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in the straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and it shall rain upon him while he is eating. That's right. When he start thinking that everything is smooth, going smooth, yeah, we got it, man. We on, we on my stair. We got one more, we got one more thing to usher in, and a new world order is set. That's when you about see me. I was trying to take him down. When he, when his belly is almost full, when he eating. Like right now, Esau eating right now, man. Esau eating. He thinking everything is going smooth. We don't got nothing to worry about, man.
That's why that's why that's why um you know man they they gonna they gonna try to fight the um you how about see me out shining angels. Cause they know that he coming back and they know that you know the angels are coming back and they know that they come he coming back with vengeance. So they they're trying to prepare themselves. They're trying to prepare themselves. Before they um that happened, man, they're trying to they're trying to get rid of um I wanna say get rid of but take over the mind of his um the chosen people, man, the so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. They're trying to take control of it. I mean, at the end of the day over the whole world, they're trying to chip everybody. But mainly, man, they want he wanna get rid of he wanna get the control of uh, the most sized people. The Israelites is the Bible speak about. So that's going into what it's saying. When he was about to feel his better, the most high shall cast the fear of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Why he eats, man. Why he's all eating good right now. Everything is going like an order, as they almost say. So when you think everything is okay, man, you how about that's when you how about she may outside take you down through the wrath, through his wrath. Yes, I'm going to get this right here in Judah, in the Apocrypha, chapter 2, and verse 2. So he called unto him all his officers and all his nobles and communicated with them his secret counsel and concluded the afflicting of the whole earth out of his own mouth. Then they decreed to destroy all flesh that did not obey the commandment of his mouth. That's right. That's their new world order, man. If you don't, if you don't get down with it, man. If you don't obey these um Esau, man, these uh, at least many um so-called white people, they gonna they gonna destroy you. They gonna try, try to destroy your flesh, and that's the only thing they can do. But Esau wanna cheap everybody. He wanna control your mind, man, because he know he, that's that's what the heavenly father do. That's what Yahweh would do. He wanna he wanna be there. He wanna be in control of everything. He wanna be in control of everything, man. That's that's his way of thinking. Not knowing that Yahweh Shem Yahushua set you up, he wants he wants how you gonna go against somebody that set you up? You can't you can't go against the Creator. But that's how Esau think. That's how Esau think. And these um, Israelite groups, man, like I S U P K I U I C, man, they they, they want to go against the Heavenly Father, man. They want to seem like they want to be a control of everything, man, and. Calling other um, prophets false, like man, they, they the ones as false prophets, man. They the ones that are leading their people to earth, telling them it's okay. Talking about it's a, it's a cowardly thing if you're scared of um, the vaccine, like man, get, bro. Do some. I watched maybe um, about five ten minutes of that um, genuine Hana video, and then the reason I watched they did a, a promo, man. They did a um, like like a little five five minute promo video. All these black shades wearing people, man. Bro, I can't even get I couldn't even get past the black shades. It's all of all of them just wearing black shades and shit, man. Them dudes act, them dudes act like just like niggas. Them dudes just act just like just like niggas. You can't tell me them dudes don't act just like niggas. They, they do not act they do not act spiritual. I don't know them, but you, through the spirit, man, you how about some of outside them dudes are not spiritual. I don't see how people follow them, I S U P K or I U I C. And a lot of the other accounts, man, I don't see how they follow them. They're, they're not, they're not, they think they deep, but they not deep. Like, they not deep. You know, you know, Jake like to get deep and stuff, man. Like, to write deep, but they consider that they deep and stuff. Man, that dude not, Junior Hondo is, is not deep at all. I mean, if you, if you actually read some of the comments, a lot of the people that was watching, I know it was one comment, dude said he watched like an hour's change of the video, man. He said he ain't, he ain't hearing that one scripture, but he said, I'm going to keep on watching. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of them, them comments, man, they getting on your junior hunter ass, they getting on how pick ass. Because, man, you know, they got people do, that do know, like, man, they was all just saying, like, I'm not taking no damn um, Massine. I'm not taking no damn Massine. I'm not taking no damn Massine. They saying you a coward if you don't. Man, the, and the point I skipped to, like, I had to skip because, man, the shit started off with music videos and shit like that, so I had, I had to skip over. They had, like, the first 15 minutes, I don't know, I don't really know. I'm just giving a number out there, but I think, like, the first 10 to 15 minutes is, like, music videos of the damn 
video of that um the, I think it's Black Watch Radio, and I ain't know what that was. Like I say, they did a promo video, so I'm like, so I guess that's they shit Black Watch. They still calling themselves black, like this. Like, come on, man, that's you really degrading yourself calling yourself black. But I don't want to say he's. He said something about like you're a false prophet if you're telling people that the um not to take the vaccine or you not know saying he gonna see on and he said uh, when people do take the vaccine and they don't drop dead that mean people that were saying don't take the vaccine are false prophets like no it's just some crazy ass shit, man that's what he was saying like dude crazy man but i'm gonna get back to the scriptures man because them dudes are lost I like, you know what I'm saying? People talking about the, the truth is out there. The truth is out there, but they, they don't got it. As you became, man, they do not got it. Uh, oh, you, um, IUIC, they don't got the truth, man, at all. I'm going to read verse 3 again. Then they decreed to destroy all flesh that did not obey the commandment of his mouth. That's right. If you don't obey, man, you don't take this off. I did you, man. They're going to they gonna try to destroy your flesh. Throw you in a constant chase account, man. Put you in um, a guillotine, man. Torture you, man. Put your body with um, milk and honey, man. And let the bees and moths, man, kill you, man. A slow death, man. So we, we coming in some, some, some crucial times, man. You don't need to be out here telling people not to, t- to take the... I mean, it's like you don't need to be out here telling people to take the damn vaccine. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Them dudes, them dudes are crazy. This I'm gonna get this right here. This is First Maccabees, chapter one, starting at verse forty-one. Moreover, more yes, like moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. That's right. That's that's what they um, want to be. That's what, um this part of the New World Order, man. New world order under one world, like one re- like you no know say but one religion, one currency. So they want they want everybody to be one people. They want to chip everybody, chip the whole goddamn world, especially these so-called black and Latinos and Native Americans. They want to get you first. Going on to verse 42, and everyone should leave his laws, so all the heathen agreed according to, co- to the commandment of the king. Yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profane the Sabbath. That's right. They're going to, uh, a lot of these so-called black and single Native American to those are people, they, can, they ain't going to concede to his new world order. They ain't going to have no problem with it, man. They're going to concede to the, to the, um, to the vaccines, to the vaccines. They want things to go back to normal. They want, you know what I'm saying? They want, getting, they want they birthday party to be good when they come, man. They want their, um, their holiday to be good when they come, man. Some of them, so many parents, man, they even want, guarantee they want their kids to go back to school. They don't want to talk to that virtual shit. Like, get, nah, come get their ass. I'm, I'm with them. So, 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 this time, you need to know they need to be in school. I need a break. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the way it's our people right now, man. Our people are lost, man. We know they, they, they stubborn. They don't want to get right. They don't want, they don't want to hearken on. Our people don't not want to hearken on. They want to. Join hand in hand with Esau. I'm gonna join the hand in hand with Esau. Amongst, amongst black people, man, you will find you talking to um, a so called black person. You know what I'm saying? They, they all for like many people. You know what I'm saying? Racism, you know what I'm saying? White people, this and that, this and that. Imagine, but when you get, you know what I'm saying? You, Jake, and the Edomite in a conversation, man, you, Jake, switch that shit up. All the stuff, man, that they were saying, this and that, and the other man, forget them, this and that. They, you know what I'm saying? They racist. Hell, nah, Jacob switched it up, especially with his money involved. I mean, his money involved with anything, man, Jake gonna switch up. And that's for damn sure. Going on, I'm gonna read verse 43 again. Yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificing to idols and profaning the Sabbath. For the king has sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. Forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple that they should profane the Sabbath and festival days and pollute the sanctuary and holy people. 
set of altars and groves and chapel of idols and sacrifices, swine's flesh and a clean beast, that they should also leave their children uncirc- uncircumcised and make their souls unbarnable with all manner of cleanness and profan- profanation. So like a profanation. To the end, they might forget the law and change all the ordinance. And whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said, he should die. If you, don't, you don't do according to the, these new world order, man, to these elites, to Esau, man, this so-called white people, man, Caucasian people, damn Europeans and shit. I mean, you should die. It's like I say, they're going to they gonna t- they gonna take you out. They're going to take you out. Like, Esau not playing. You know, Jake out here playing. Like, um, Friday, he ain't playing. You think he playing? Nah, Esau not playing, man. Esau ain't, ain't playing about this new world order. You think he playing about this new world order? He ain't playing. No, man, Esau is, is, is not playing. That's Jake out here playing, man. Especially the so-called people. But it's, so, um, yeah, I, must, I guess I can say so-called, man, because... These, they not, they Israelites, man, but they, they, they carnally Israelites. A lot of these groups, man, they, they carnal Israelites, man. They, they not spiritual at all. They not spiritual at all. You know, Esau, Esau gonna take your eyes off if you don't, if you don't buy down. And them, I should be caved, man. Them, them dudes sold out. Them dudes straight sellouts. You can't see that, man. It's, I don't know what you do. Like, you, you blind them, you just trying to be a part of something. Not them dudes, I feel like they just trying to be a part of something. This, this ain't just be a part of something. Like, this I'm trying to get saved. Like, man, this, shit is real, man. Things things are, are turning up. Things are real, man. You need to be out here praying, hoping you hop by some hour shopping. Have mercy upon you, because we're worthy of that. Even when small little things happen to me, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, man, I, I deserve it. I mean, how about you me outside? I could have then took me out. I'm worthy of death. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm worthy of it. That's why I, I pray to you, how about you me outside? I have mercy upon me. Going on to verse 51. In the self same manner, wrote he to his whole kingdom and appointed overseers. Over all the people commanding the cities of Judah to sacrifice city by city. And many of the people were gathered unto them to wit every one that forsook the law. And so they com- committed evils in the land and drove the Israelites into secret places, even whatsoever they could flee for succor. Now, the 15th day of the month, I think it's Kaslil, in the 140 and fifth year, they set up the abomination. Of desolation upon the altar and build the idols altars through the city of Judah on every side and burn incense at the doors of their houses and in the streets and when they had rent in pieces the book of the law which they found they burnt them with fire yeah. and whosoever was found with any book of the testament or of any committed to the law the king's commandment was that they should be put to death. That's right, man. You, you follow me, how about see me outside? You choose to how about see me outside? It's RFID over the RFID chip. You're going to be put to death. And it might be like that with the uh, with the vaccine, with the C19 vaccine. If you don't, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, get, you ain't getting down with it, man. Hey, that's, take him in there. Take him in there. He, like you, um, it's like, see, you, it's gonna be a day like how you how, how you will feel if you go into court. You think you finna come home? Like, hell nah. Whatever happens today, you will not leave this courtroom. And that's how it's gonna be with the, uh, it might be like that with the mass scene. For sure, it's gonna be like that with the RFID chip. So, man, these mass scene is just a stepping stool, man. Just like a, okay, a test, like a little test, man, before they really usher in what they wanna do. Out through, through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, these things are getting real. And Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, you know what I'm saying? He working with these, he, no one say working with them, but he controlling Esau. He controlling Esau, so. End of the day, this is 
the um how about seven hours shot moving? So since he controlling Esau, we can have Esau men to take your ass out. Esau gon is um Yahweh by Shimei was short. Like you know what I'm saying? He gonna use him for Jacob's trouble. So you got these Israelites out here saying, take take the Maxine. You you a coward, you scared, like you know what I'm saying? Like you, bro, this not a good argument. Like, what did you talking about? Like what is you talking about, man? You how can you even debate that? Or why would you want to even debate that? Why would it I don't know. That's some crazy shit, man. I just, I just can't get over that, man. You telling people to take the vaccine and then you're a coward. But you're a coward. You scared of a, you scared of a vaccine? You scared of a vaccine? Come on, you, you should be fearing your high body shooting out of shot. You should be fearing the Lord. Like, man, shut your bitch ass up, man. This is, when I hear them dudes, man, that's what I want to just say to them, man. Shut your bitch ass up, man. Man, real talk, man. Them, them dudes some niggas. Them dudes not spiritual at all. With that, man, Lord, when he was edified, just a real short video, man. You know, the Esau New World Order is, is in, in play, man. Esau New World Order is in play. They already microchipping people in Australia, as you can see from the from the video. With that, Lord, when he was edified, you know, for I end it, for sure, got to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kakadash. Double on to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from, who has 100% truth. And Shalom to the hopefully lit, scattered across the four ends of the earth, the house of David, Yasha Allah, the 144,000. Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. Lord willing, we in the kingdom soon. This this place is done. I'm, I'm tired of this, this damn place, man. I'm tired of this damn place. Not a chase, not tired of this place, man, but... Anybody that's spiritual, man, seeking how about Shimei Abishai did. And how about Shimei Abishai open, open your eyes up. You tired to this, you tired of this damn place, man. This place is, this place is done. Shalom.